Hello, gentlemen, ladies, and JDEC. Welcome to Congratulations Your Dick, episode 3. You guys have been absolutely loving this series, and it's good for me because I, I love making them as well. And I am never short on material because this is the series where I compile articles of ass all on you, and I present them to you for your better or enjoyment. And today we have artillery, hate crimes, epic stories of revenge, wargaming, saying a hearty f*** you, and wolves deliberately team killing random teammates. So stick around, push the like and subscribe buttons, and let's get started. Right, so welcome! Today we're with Krisak 11, which I can actually somewhat pronounce, speech impediment and all. Question, who hates Artie? Raise your hands. Okay, don't actually... Really? You, okay, you're odd. Who hates Artie more now than they did before the patch? Well, according to this particular poll from the NA forums, about... 60 to 70 percent of players. That, that, those aren't good numbers. They're, they're not. Not at all. However, perhaps that can be explained by a condition called prosophobia, which is the quite natural fear of the change. That shut up! Stop doing that during my videos. The change that comes on the road to a particular god. I swear to God. Not to be confused with WG-phobia, which is, of course, the uh, fear of wargaming, making dumbass irrational decisions that go against the majority of the fanbase. Or, if we're being honest, against the majority of you. Or whoever's forming that opinion at the time. No one likes change. Uh, even if this is the next step towards a great, balanced mechanic, which I particularly have utterly zero interest in playing because it sits at the back of the map and shits on people, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Even if it is the step towards the, the, the amazing precipice of glory, people are still going to naturally resist it, favouring the relative safety of plodding their feet, you know, sticking their head in the sand and staying put. Or at least that's what the majority of people would do. Meet Shizix. He's a nerd tit and heavy tank. Um, he's in a fairly good matchup. He likes long walks on the beach, and he's a bitch. Sorry, that's anti. anti. Well, it's anti something. Um, what I meant to say was he behaves in a manner not entirely conducive to generally not being a bitch. Um, I don't know if it's growing pains. Horror or prosophobia, indeed, that uh, punks his decisions in this game. I don't know. So, uh, at some point, the FE215 gets smacked in the tits by Artie. The annoying, aggravating, we, we've all been there, done that. So, what does he do? Hmm? Suck it up? Fight his way forward in his tier 10 heavy tank to take revenge? No! <laughs> Of course he does what any reasonable person, rational person, would do, and team kills his own artillery. Because let's be honest, artillery all the same. Am I your arty, enemy arty? No, that was a dip. Okay, so, odd decision. I, you would think he would be grateful, because if that had happened in the last patch, he would have lost something like 800 health, maybe more, but at least now his bloodlust for arty is sated, right? It, it, yeah, no. Something has changed, however. Um, rather than lashing out in a fit of misguided rage, he very clearly doesn't want to get banned from this game or turn blue by shooting his own team, as he obviously enjoys this game so much and, and values not being banned. So he decides to spend his time pushing the FE3 out five around trying to win his game as well. The FE, in a splendid act of denial, still manages to take out the 1 to 1 B on the enemy team, and as a result, the FB 2 1 5 B adapts his methods. You know what this. You know what this is, right? I do this. I, I do this. Funny difference though, when I do it, it's funny. 
Alright, because everyone's in a joke, everyone's in the platoon, I know everyone's laughing, and it's not generally screwing over our team or any other players. Oh, he's yeah. oh, surprised. Beating sir. How are you Surprise, today? motherfucker. No! <laughs> uh, um... What? <laughs> you scared gent me. <laughs> I almost ah. fell from my chair, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I shit in my pants almost. <laughs> the way this guy does it just makes him a dip. He ultimately, however, fails utterly at blocking the gun between the arty and the enemy art. The enemy arty? Enemy Leo takes the kill. Alright, so, I think we're all fairly glad that travesty is over and done with. Ugh, goat muffins. You know, you might think that the FE would just, like, attack the... Uh, I'm not even... I'm not even good with the pretenses anymore, honestly. Uh, just, what can I say about this? I mean... Shockingly, he actually manages it. Do you know what? I'm not going to disappoint you guys. I'm really not. I do have something that may be of some minor comfort to you. You know what happened to that uh, FE after his uh, arty fueled rampage? Well, shortly after that, he ends up getting sky shacked by the enemy <laughs> RT. <laughs> Which, personally, I, I, I just think that's fantastic. Um, and I, I want to watch it again. Let's watch it again. Any objections? No? Okay. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! <laughs> I it be time to step up to this game on steps. I don't know why I'm doing a pirate voice. This is an oddity, alright? A fair few of you were surprised um, at the politeness of the KV-2 I featured in episode 2. And I was as well, that's kind of why I featured it. It, it, it was funny, it, it ended up being funny, it was just... It, it, anyway, it, I won't spoil it, go and watch it if you want to. Here's something very simple. During the countdown to this game, the family FV-304 states, I will kill our Hummel. Uh, I just... F for no reason. I will kill our Hummel. He's not in a platoon with the guy. He's just told everyone that he's going to murder the guy as soon as the game starts. Hey, right. And as good as his word, the battle starts, and the FV-304 murders the Hummel. I need to turn that off. Now... To save you fine people the trauma of wondering for the rest of your lives what prompted such an action, I have a theory, right? So here's what I did. I, I went and recruited some trained actors and professional stuntmen to uh, recreate uh, reenactment of what happened, right? And here's the story. <laughs> oh, Daddy, this is so much fun. <laughs> That's right, son. I'm glad no tragic circumstances are befalling us right now. Oh no! Hummels! Yo! We are Hummels. Run, son, run! Daddy, no! I'll take you out, my knee! I will avenge you! And that is why the bird killed the Hummel. Um... The, the end. Question. You ever had one of those games where you just feel like Wargaming just kind of kicks you in the teeth and then runs off cackling into the night laughing? Right? Uh, no? Yes? No? Yes? No? Doesn't matter. Um, you may have, you may not. Whatever. Now, I can almost guarantee, however, that a few of you have had one quite like Bozabo in his batch at 15558. Now, this is the tier 10 auto loading French artillery has four shells. 6 second delay between said shells and an 80 second when you load for the entire clip. However, as you see if you look 
just below the, like, what's here, you can see there's something odd going on. Now, despite what the game might be telling you, Bozabodo has not actually forgotten to load ammunition in this game. As you can see, now he is fun and indeed damaging enemy tanks. Oh, the phone, you, you might have missed something here, alright? Yep, I'm gonna just wind it back and keep an eye on chat, alright? And here we go, yeah, yep. The gang just announced to his entire team that he has no ammo. Whilst he's unloading his autoloader. Okay, now, what what do you think is gonna happen next? Alright? Hey, he'll be attacked by a swarm of mini butt sex craving flower pots. B, he'll be violently murdered by an illogical jackass on his own team. C Toast. If you pick B, congratulations! If you picked anything else, you're probably a bit strange. Because Annihilator, or as I like to call him, Logic Von Stupid Pants, in his 1390, races over from the other side of the map and team kills him. Because he thought he was out of ammo. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not funny. Now, <clears throat> uh, you may be wondering why this is. <laughs> This is in, uh, congratulations, you are dick novel in, like, a low compilation or something. And to that I say, um, I, I don't care if the bat trap was out of ammo. Right? It doesn't give you the right to team kill it. And doing so does 100% make you a dick. So that is why the game plays here. Thank you very much, and good night. And you know, you know, besides that, even assuming he was out of ammo, why would you waste? Two of your six shells in an AMX 1390. Okay, halfway across the bloody map, and go blue just to kill your own bloody R team. The enemy team wouldn't have known he was only loading. He can still eat a shell or two. Look, as a basic principle, this this game goes down as one of the most stupid team kills I've ever seen in this game. Like, I I just moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd share this with you, not to uh, brag or boast or even to ask for forgiveness or support. I'm showing this to you because I can. It, it was there, it happened, it transpired, and I took what I believed to be the uh, course of action at the time. So, towards the end of this game, in my FD 4 I find myself trying to beat back an advance along the western flank from the enemy team, when all of a sudden, a wild Cromwell appears and becomes resolutely determined to get me to kill myself on his gun. Like, there's no question about what he's doing. So, here's the clip as it transpired live on Twitch. Why do I feel like I'm being rammed, but yeah, get me to kill this, myself this, on your gun. Yeah, this, plan, this, this Cromwell is really... He, he really wants me to kill really myself likes you. on his gun. Yeah, um, he really does like you. I'm going to try again. Here we go. Three, oh, two, two, There you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm fun being it. fulfilled, bitch. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Justice. <laughs> I, I want to say, I, I don't condone my actions in this gameplay. I do, however, find them hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sorry for that, but the bitch got karma'd. Um, as I said right during the game, I never normally do that, but I've never seen someone ask for it more. <laughs> like, <laughs> So that'll do it for today, thanks so much for watching, drop a like if you enjoyed and do not forget you can submit examples of people being an arsehole anywhere on the internet to replays.wolves at yahoo.co.uk, that'll be in the description and I may, well, use it, gather them out of it, <sighs> stick around for more videos and, and stuff, what the tanks, GDA, General Todd blowing himself up, Jedi. Simpsons swinging like a girl. <clears throat> Stuff. Oh! I, I fell over. <clears throat> Into my chair, luckily. Yeah, yeah. Um. Bye!